If you're into 3D printing, you probably already know how crucial the modeling part is. But which software is the best for this task? In this video, I'm gonna show you which one fits the best for my needs. But first, what are my needs? In my case, I 3D print miniatures and robot. First thing that I'm looking for is the ability to create a detailed model made of a unique shell. The unique shell is perfect to create the hollowing in order to save some resin and money. Here, you can see on the right a model that is not made of one shell, and on the left, made of one shell. The hollowing works much better and keeps a consistent volume. As a hobbyist, the measurements are not really what I'm looking for in this use. So basic measurements for my bases are enough. I don't need to dive deep into those constraint and precise dimensions. Let's talk about Fusion 360. Good point, it's free. But you have a limit of 10 files to work on at the same time. I used it last year for this model. I found it quite difficult to be efficient for what I needed. I always end up with tons of sketches. You cannot create a sketch from anywhere in the 3D space, which causes a lot of frustration. And the 3D sketch tool is hard to understand. Also, having to right-click, hovering move, then move the point, finally click OK to validate the move is slowing down the process. I can see that it's tailored for industrial design, but not what I need, so next. Blender. You could use it. Don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite software. Even if I use most of the best plugins like Box Cutter, Mesh Machine and Adops, the amount of time spent to clean the geometry is crazy. Here, I'm just trying to bully in two pieces it looks horrible, doesn't even work. Fillet, true nightmare. If you want to create something very complex, the topology becomes a real challenge. Overall, the cleaning part is very painful and time consuming, even if it's possible to use for your 3D print. I found it quite inefficient. I wanted to try more 3D, but $295 a bit too much. Then I discovered Plasticity 3D. Affordable and promising, it seems like the answer to my modeling needs. At the time I bought it, it was just 100 bucks, so I tried it. Made my first model, print it, and it came out perfect. To be honest, it's been a game changer for me. Just the same shortcut as Blender, you can create and connect curves very easily without thinking too much about your construction plane. Remember the 3D sketch tool from Fusion? Well here it works perfectly. Start your curve from anywhere, draw the shape you like and it's done. It feels like I'm sculpting. I could envision shapes and bring them to life effortlessly without the headache of previous software. It's very robust and hasn't had any crashes so far. At this point for me, it's the right solution. Now let's go a step further and see how it behaves when there are touch-ups. Here's the first printed version that I made. The keys for the legs hadn't enough depth and the legs could not stay in place. Even the plasticity doesn't have a history, it was very easy to change the size of the holes and adjust everything so that the legs can hold up the rest of the body. Here is the second print, and I pretend the right leg twice which is why he only has three. I also roughly painted it to see the overall look of it, and then I fine tuning the fine details. And it was finally ready for the third print. The export as STL is very easy. Crank it up to 1 to have the best outcome possible. And here's the final result. Shop and detail. There is some striation that I haven't solved yet, but I can live with it. In conclusion, for the time being, Plasticity 3D is the best software that gives me the best possible result without breaking the bank. I think it's really geared towards creative use. That's it, that was my two cents. Thank you for watching and see you next time.